Welcome to Morzac EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the options available for installation of charge points for your home. Morzac EV are an electric vehicle charge point specialist, so we've built up a good wealth of experience in installing these charge points. And today we're going to talk about some of the options available. Roll the credits. So behind me are some of the charge point options that are available for installation by Morzac. There are a couple of other options not on the wall because we haven't got them in stock today, uh, but we'll touch on these during the video. All of these charge points are OLEV approved. For those who aren't aware, in the UK, the government offers an OLEV grant, which is the Office for Low Emission Vehicles. They provide a grant for installation of your charge point at your home or workplace. Currently, as of 2020, this is £350 per charge point for your home and you're allowed up to two charge point installations at your home, but you need to own an electric vehicle. So if you own one electric vehicle, you're allowed one charge point installation grant of £350. If you own, if you own two electric vehicles, you're allowed up to £700. The Workplace Charging Scheme offers £350 per socket, up to 40 sockets for a single workplace. So that's up to £14,000 towards the cost of installation. The only requirements for that are that you apply for a workplace charging scheme voucher, which is easily done online. So as part of the OLEV scheme, Morzac EV provides a three-year warranty on all the charge points you can see on this video today. So all of the charge points here are available in 7 kilowatts, which is 32 amps. Don't be confused if the, you see figures quoted slightly differently, such as 7.2 kilowatts and 7.4 kilowatts. They're all 32 amps and the kilowatts will vary slightly depending on your car, the conditions, but don't be fooled, all these charge points charge at exactly the same speed. Some of the charge points are also available in a 22 kilowatt variant. The Zappi and the Anderson are good examples of this. Whether you can actually have that installed is dependent on your home supply. If you have a single phase supply, you can only have the 7 kilowatt variant. If you have a three phase supply, you can have the 22 kilowatt variant. We're going to do a separate video on this so you can identify whether your supply is a single phase or three phase. Once we've done that, we'll add a link below. Just be aware that most houses are single phase and if you want to upgrade to three phase, it can be very, very expensive. So just bear that in mind when you're getting quotes from ourselves or anybody else. So we've arranged the charges on the wall here from the most competitively priced options all the way up to the most premiumly priced options. There are reasons why the charge points are priced as they are, and we'll touch on these on the video, but hopefully you'll get an understanding of why some are more competitively priced and why some are more premium. So we're starting with the Project EV. We have the Pod Point Solo. We have the Omi EV wall charger. We have the EO Mini Pro version 2. The My Energy Zappi. And finally, the Anderson A2. So the other charge points that we couldn't feature in this video because unfortunately we didn't have them in stock are the Rolex Smart Home and the Emon EVSE. So you notice that some of the charge points have cables and some are sockets. This is what is known as tethered and untethered. You'll see that quoted on the literature, on websites and on the quotes when you're getting quotes for installation. 
it's all a matter of preference as to what you go for in the end. The tether might suit some people in some situations, others might prefer the socketed version. So, spoiler alert, by the end of the video, there's gonna be no, this is the best charge point on the market. Each one of these charge points, um, we supply and install for different reasons. Everybody's different, everybody's situation is different, and it all, it's all a matter of personal preference, personal taste, and what your needs are. So we'll try and cover that in this video. So now we're gonna talk about each individual charge point, the different features that it has, um, and why you might wanna choose that charge point for your home installation. So I'm displaying here the timestamps for each charge point in case you wanna skip forward to each section. I'll also put that in the description below so you can easily navigate through the video if you wanna jump forwards and backwards. We will be doing some more detailed videos on each of these charge points. Um, maybe show you a little bit of the installation process, how to navigate the apps that come with the charge points. So we'll start with the Project EV. This is the most competitively priced charge point that we install as of today. It features seven kilowatt charging. Currently only comes in an untethered variant with a type two socket on the side. It also comes in a, a version which requires an earth rod, which is useful if you already have an earth rod, it'll save you that little bit of cost. And it also comes in the pro earth version, which means it's got a built-in pen fault detection device, so it doesn't require an earth rod. So the Project TV also has an app that you can connect to on your smartphone. It'll allow you to apply load balancing if you've selected that option during charge points installation. It allows you to schedule your charging so you can utilize uh, low rate um, electricity tariffs off peak. And you can monitor your charging usage um, so you can get the cost of you know, what you're paying to charge your vehicle. This is the Podpoint Solo. It comes in a socketed untethered version and a tethered version with a five meter cable where the cable wraps around the unit itself. A lot of you might be familiar with the Podpoint brand itself. Uh, they're quite well known. The, um, the charge points themselves don't require an earth rod. They've got their own pen fault detection, open pen fault detection device built in and they come with load management as standard. So if your house has a small mains fuse or you have a lot of loads on your house, it will detect those loads and reduce the charging to your vehicle while those loads are present. Um, so you don't overload your house's main fuse. It has an app so you can monitor your charging usage, but it doesn't currently allow you to schedule charging um, so you can make use of low rate electricity tariffs. So if your car has that capability, um, you will need to schedule your charging in the vehicle itself and try and remember to remove that scheduling if you go to a public charging um, place such as a supermarket or somewhere like that. Okay, so this is the Omi EV wall charger. You can see it's quite a small unit. It only comes in a five meter tethered variant. Comes with this hook and holster as part of the installation. It does need an earth rod for the install or Morzak EV can provide a pen fault detection device, meaning the earth rod can be emitted as part of your quotation. Now the big advantage with the OMI is its software. So it's one of the smartest electric vehicle chargers on the market today. Its software will work with your electricity tariff to charge your vehicle as cheaply as possible. It also has the added advantage that if you've got a BMW, Jaguar, Nissan, Renault or a Tesla, it'll actually work with your car app to determine the state of charge of the battery. So in the OMI app, you tell the charger that you want your vehicle to be charged, for example, to 80% by eight o'clock in the morning. The OMI will then look at your electric vehicle 
charging status, it will look at the, your electricity tariff and it will work out the cheapest way to get your vehicle to that state of charge by the morning. You can set up different schedules for different times of the day, different days of the week. Um, if you change electric, if you change a vehicle or you change a tariff, um, it's really easy to change that in the app. And you can, on the fly, you can modify uh, your charging schedule. So let's say you want to go out in the evening, you can go into the app. Um, we can show you this in more detail when we do the OMI video itself. But it's really smart, really cost effective. You can have options for improving your battery life by, um, by being more gentle on the battery when it does its charges. And you can also favour green energy. So if you're particularly uh, concerned about the environment, you can favour green energy and lower your carbon emissions overall. So it's a really smart charger, really future proof. This charge point has its own built-in SIM card. So it does connect to the cloud via the mobile networks. Um, it's a roaming SIM card, so it'll latch onto the strongest network. You do have to bear in mind that you need a decent mobile signal for it to work because there is no Wi-Fi connectivity, but that's never caused us a problem in the past. Um, so overall, it is an excellent option for a charge point, very future-proof. Um, I believe it does pay itself back in the long term, especially within the three-year warranty period for charging your vehicle cheaply and as greenly as possible. We're going to cover the remaining charge points in a separate video. We didn't want to lump it all together and do too much in one go. If you like this video and found it useful, please smash that like button. If you want to get notifications of the next video, the second part of this series, or any of our other charge point videos, Tesla videos, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.